Okay folks, welcome back. In this video, I wanna do something a little bit different. I wanna give an example of something that I think we could all agree would not be considered a tripping foul. Now before I go to my little whiteboard here that I set up, I wanna just give an analogy. So let's say you are hanging out in front of your house, it's a summer day, and you're walking down your sidewalk in front of your house. And about 15 yards up ahead of you, your friend um, sticks his legs out on the sidewalk and just leaves him there, okay? And you continue to walk, and you see your, your friend's legs there, and you keep walking, you keep walking, and then you trip over your friend's legs and you fall down onto the ground. I think that we could probably all agree that in this situation, your friend didn't trip you. You saw what was transpiring and you initiated a contact with your friend's legs and you tripped yourself. And we probably wouldn't feel very remorseful or bad about this. To move from our analogy to the field, let's pretend that red, symbolized by this red dot, has got the ball, which is this little black dot, and red is going this way, okay? Now, red's dribbling down the field, and the ball is right on red's foot, or the ball is within playing distance of red. So red can reach out his foot and keep on dribbling the ball down the field. Then let's say red has, has a, a bad touch, and red ends up kicking the ball out here where it's not within playing distance, like red can't reach out and, and grab it, and then blue comes in and slide tackles and ends up booting the ball like way over here, okay? Then red continues to go forward and doesn't check their momentum, and red hits into blue, who's now down on the ground because he just slide tackled the, uh, the ball, okay? Blue goes from here to here after he kicks the ball, and then red comes in and falls over blue. In this situation, I think we'd all agree that this is not a tripping foul. And why not? Well, at the moment, guys, that blue tackles the ball, at, at that moment, red is not within playing distance of the ball. Red can see blue coming in, and red has time to avoid the contact with blue. Red is beat to the ball, and then red continues his momentum forward and initiates contact with blue and falls over blue, okay? Blue, when blue tackles for the, for the ball, blue only touches the ball, never touches red, and you know tackles here at like a 90 degree angle to where red's coming in from, okay? So, so blue's not going into red, blue tackles at a 90 degree angle, Ball only, boots it away, and then red goes into blue and, and kind of falls over, okay? 